All right, so <clears throat> there's a couple of different ways of doing this. We're just going to pretend. We're going to play doctor today. And uh, I used to get in trouble for doing that with the girls, but we're going to do it with an apple today. <sighs> there are three different types of injections, if I'm remembering basic you know, medical care 101. The first type is deep tissue or deep cutaneous or deep muscular, I forget the name of it. Basically, the syringe is inserted at a very drastic 90, almost 90 degree angle to the flesh. No. Do not give an injection like this. Okay? The next is what they call subcutaneous. We're going to stop using big words. It means right under the skin. Okay? So this is a very shallow angle of attack. Like so. See what that looks like. That is just beneath the surface. If, if the skin of the apple is the skin of the snake, that is just beneath the surface of the skin. Don't do this either. Okay? So, no straight up and down. And no almost right with you know, right along the edge of the snake, like so. Those two, one, if you go too deep, you could puncture any number of organs, especially in a smaller snake like you just saw me dose. You're going to puncture any number of organs, okay? Snakes are not a big hollow tube. They're just like you and me. they got a heart, lungs, liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, kidneys, you know, they got all sorts of stuff inside of them that you go that like that into a snake, you're going to hit something bad, and it's going to be traumatic, yeah? The way you want to do this, and I made this thing into a dartboard here, the way you want to do this is almost at a 45 degree angle. Just like so. Okay? And what that's essentially doing, it's not going directly under the skin, and it's not going straight down, so you're actually going into the muscle. Okay? Once you get that in there, go ahead and depress your plunger. Okay, now this is not a hollow, there's no muscle to absorb this, so, you know, it's going to just shoot right out. Go ahead and depress your plunger. Alright? I'm going to zoom up on this and I'm going to show you again what not to do. This is a no-no. Let me get out of the light here. This is a no-no. Straight up and down. Don't do that. This is a no-no. See how shallow that is? See there? That's a no-no. Don't do that either. Almost on a 45 degree angle. Like so. Okay? Now, if you're nervous about giving an injection to a snake, if you're nervous about just giving the injection, period. Ask your veterinarian for an extra syringe and an extra uh, needle, just a whole setup, okay? Get yourself a, uh, a grapefruit. They have a hollow skin that you can sit there and you can pump water into them all day long and practice. Okay? So, 
That way, when you get ready to do the injection, you know, find you a piece of fruit that's about the same size as your, as your snake, you know? Imagine that this is the spine. Draw you a line if you have to. Get you a marker. Get you a marker and draw you a line. Say, okay, this is the spine, right? This is where its ribs start. Look at your snake. Look at the animal. Pick it up. Hold it for a second. You're not going to kill the thing holding it, looking at it. Figure out where the ribs stop being right beneath the skin and where the peak of the spine is. Find that little piece of meat right there, okay? Practice holding your, practice holding your snake with a piece of fruit. Practice getting comfortable. The one thing most people are so scared of these things well, is they're scared they're going to stick themselves. This is a point. This is a very sharp point. Get over it. It's a needle. Hold your piece of fruit. Hold your, hold your, 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 uh, your syringe here. You know, find your angle of attack. Go in. Give the injection. Pull it back out. Set your piece of fruit down. Walk away for a few minutes. Get that nerves out of your system. Draw you up some more water. Pick your animal up again. Find that nice little tenderloin of meat. Take it. Give them the injection. It's, it's not rocket science. Okay? You just have to be confident and you just have to know that once again, and a lot of your vets are going to show you this, you just have to know Straight up and down, bad. Directly underneath the skin, bad. 45 degree angle, about like so. Good. That's what you want to see right there. All right, well, I hope, I hope you've learned something. I know this was an incredibly long video, and I'm very sorry for it. But I really hope you learned something, and I really hope that uh, you get something out of this. Because uh, I can tell you, when I was doing my first injections, when I had, I had a snake with a respiratory infection, and when I was giving my first injections, I was terrified, terrified, oh my God, you know, no, I'm not going to eat, no, I'm not going to eat the apple, uh, terrified, you know, that, oh, you know, I'm going to do something wrong, so I found a video online, showed me how to do it, I took the video, I practiced on a piece of fruit, I actually got the fruit idea from a nurse, uh, that I know. She told me, she said, look man, just take you a piece of fruit and practice giving the injection. It's that easy. You just need something that you can get used to handling the needle, get used to how the needle feels in your hand, and, and, and practice that angle of attack. So when you get ready and you've got that snake in your hand, you know that if you're at this angle, you're too shallow. If you're at, if you're at this angle, you're too deep. You want to be somewhere right in the middle there. Guys, as always, I thank you for looking. We're going to go out on a little snake here. I think. Yeah, I have a little. Yeah. We're going to go out on a snake here. As always, cool little lemon blast male. Guys, as always, I appreciate it. I thank you very much for watching. If you would do me a huge favor by subscribing, commenting below. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to see, I have been getting your requests. So please don't think I haven't been. I am going to show off the calico again. I am going to show you my whole facility. We'll even make a drive up one afternoon and we'll, uh, we'll visit the rat barn because we're expanding the rat barn to be a huge facility. Uh, and then that way everybody can get to see. But if you have any questions, or if you have anything you do want to see, please 
you can email me at ed at wildmorphs.com or you can comment here. Thanks for looking.